Hello viewers, I want to welcome you to Open Heaven's Daily Devotional Review. Uh, today is 21st of February and I'm excited to be with you and I want to encourage you to join us on a daily basis to be part of what God is doing. Today our topic says, Grow Your Faith Part 1. Grow Your Faith Part 1. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. We pray, Holy Spirit, as we go into your word, expose us is light shine your light upon our path in the mighty name of jesus thank you precious redeemer for in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen our text is taken from the book of romans chapter uh, 12 and we are going to read verse 3 romans 12 verse 3 and the bible says for i say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly as God has dealt with each one of us one measure of faith, we should treat ourselves one measure of faith. What I wanted to underline from that portion of the Bible is the measure of faith. People think that we all share the same level of faith. No, we don't share the same level of faith. Faith is available, but we can grow the level of our faith. It starts from the mustard seed, starting I mean the very beginning, but you can actually grow it. And I'm going to show you what the Word of God says concerning it. Let's look at our memory verse of today from the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 17. It says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. When a believer gives his life to Christ, his level of faith is not compared to someone who is matured, fully matured in Christ Jesus. So when you give your life to Christ, it takes faith, a measure of faith to give your life. According to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible says, By grace we have been saved. By grace we have been, what? Be saved. And through faith, if faith in Christ, you believe that Jesus died and resurrected, you share a level of faith. That's the beginning. But that is not enough. Because the certain, you know, experiences you are going to have in your journey with Christ Jesus, there are certain things that you need to trust God for as you begin to, you know, fellowship with Him. As we live our everyday life, there are certain things we must do. Because the Bible says that without faith, no man can please the Lord. It's not talking about the faith of believing. It's talking about the level of faith in your daily life, in trusting God in those areas of your life and you want to see God come through for you. Then how do we increase our faith? Now that we know that we can't stay on one, on one spot, we can't stay with just the mustard seed faith alone. We need more than that for us to keep our fellowship with the Holy Spirit, keep our fellowship with God. That faith can be developed through the hearing of the Word of God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says it. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing what? The Word of God. When you find a Christian who is not given to the Word of God, that Christian is a shallow Christian. You must be a person of the Word. You must find out what the Word of God says concerning your life. You must find out what the Word of God says concerning your country. You must find out what God says concerning your, your, your job. Whatever you are doing, you must be given to the Word. That's why the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 6 says that this book of the Lord shall not depart from thy mouth. You shall meditate therein, day and night. That's only when you have good success. Your good success is tied to your understanding of the word of God, correct interpretation of the word of God. You must be given to the word and that's how your life can be transformed because the word of God is potent enough to transform your life. But what I see today is that we have many shallow Christians who are not given to the word or studying the word of God. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You can't come in contact with the truth except to go into the word. The word exposes you to the truth. And I love Psalm 119 verse 130. He said, the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to your part. When you read the word of God, when it's, it's, it's just surfacing. When you study and meditate the word of God, it becomes alive. And when you study the word of God and the word becomes life to you, it shines path to your, 
to your darkness. That Joe made an analogy today. Say, so imagine a driver who is driving without the fog lights when the light is not on. He said he's going to stop driving because there is nothing to see. So if the light is dim, it's going to be slow. But if the light is bright, it can move faster. Can I pray with you? As you begin to give yourself into the word, as you begin to digest the word of God, the Lord will expose you to the realities of life. Secrets of the word of God will be exposed to you. The word of God says that it is God's glory to hide a thing. And it is the glory of King to set them as such the scripture. Whatever you desire of the Lord, this is how I pray. Anything I'm trusting God for, first, I go into the word of God. What does the word of God say concerning that thing? And I pick the word of God and begin to pray concerning it. And I've seen answer and I want you to also take this approach and see God help you and grow your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Our key point today says that study the word of God every day. Don't let it leave you. When you are tired of reading it, Plug it in. Listen to it as audio. Play it as a song to yourself. Make sure you are given to the word and your life will never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you.